There is a pitched battle being waged right now across big swaths of the western US. There are potentially millions of dollars in jeopardy and lines drawn in the sand. The White House has gotten involved, as has Congress, the oil industry, the media, multiple state governments, and the armed forces. It's a battle that's set to last for years. And at the center of it all is this prairie chicken. Or something a lot like it. I'll explain. In March of last year, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service listed the lesser prairie chicken as threatened under the Endangered Species Act. This is what a prairie chicken looks like. They're small, they're stripy, they're cute, and their habitat is threatened by livestock grazing, oil drilling, and other land development. Right now, there are around 30,000 lesser prairie chickens out there, and they're confined to these areas of the Midwest and Southwest. Anyway, those are the birds in question, but the story is really about everything else happening around them. The prairie chickens were officially listed as threatened, which isn't as serious as endangered, but regulators still called it a win. Unfortunately, a lot of people disagreed. The energy industry got upset because their land use could be limited. Conservationists got upset because they thought the land use still wouldn't be limited enough. And it really only got crazier from there. First, a coalition of energy companies challenged the decision, kicking off a legal battle. Conservation groups fought back, one arguing for the importance of, and I quote, effective chicken strongholds in these states. An Oklahoma newspaper wrote that the move was, quote, an unjustified quest for power on the part of the Obama administration. The army weighed in, complaining that bird conservation efforts could hinder training operations. And maybe most bizarrely, Congressman Frank Lucas of Oklahoma proposed an amendment to a huge defense spending bill that would repeal the chicken's threatened status. That bill remains under review by Congress. Anyway, all of this crazy came to a head in September 2015 when a federal judge struck down the listing and declared the lesser prairie chicken not threatened after all. The reasons were somewhat technical, and the fight is bound to continue on both sides. But if you're not a rancher or a congressman or a conservationist, it might not be clear why you should rally around this little bird. It is not the most captivating or unique animal that's ever been in peril, in fact, it's so similar to its relative, the greater prairie chicken, that I'm honestly not sure whether all these clips we've used are of the right species. But it's worth mentioning here that the habitat we're talking about, the fabled American prairie, is full of a lot more than just prairie chickens. There are prairie dogs, sand dune lizards, swift foxes, burrowing owls, and the rest of a very carefully balanced ecosystem, one that continues to disintegrate as the West is developed. So even though prairie chickens might be the symbol du jour for the conservation movement, just like spotted owls and whooping cranes have been at other times, this battle is a lot bigger than they are. It's a battle of competing interests, a lot of money, and some very tricky questions about the legend of the American frontier.